students i am manoj kundare the assistant professor of electronic science welcome back to our e learning platform in previous video we have seen the instruction set of 8051 microcontroller in that video we have seen the data transfer group instructions the link of the previous video is available in the description box please check it now in this video we are going to see the program branch group instructions this group of instructions performs the conditional jump and unconditional jump call operation and return operation this instruction modifies the contents of program counter or pc register they transfers program control to different memory locations the first instruction in the program branch group instruction is no operation its syntax is nop its function is no operation no any flag is affected in this type of instruction in this instruction the pc is incremented by 1 it performs no operation and execution continues with next instruction only one machine cycle is wasted this instruction is mainly used to provide short time delay that means if we want to provide a short time delay then we can use nop instruction the next instruction is jump address the function is unconditional jump it transfers control unconditionally to the target location that means to the address in 8051 microcontroller there are three unconditional jump instructions such as sjmp means short jump ljmp means long jump and ajmp means absolute jump the first jump is long jump its syntax is ljmp address 16 here address 16 means this instruction requires 16 bit address its function is long jump the ljmp is used to jump to any address location within 64 kilobytes of program memory space it is 3 byte instruction for example ljmp 6000h that means after the execution of this instruction the pc is jump at the memory location 6000h i hope you all understand the instruction the next instruction is sjmp means short jump its syntax is sjmp space relative here relative word shows the relative address within the range 002 fff that means within the 256 bytes its function is short jump in this jump the destination address may must be within minus 128 to plus 127 bytes of the pc that means total 256 from 00 to ff we have to take negative part or the negative range hence we take minus 128 to plus 127 it is a two byte instruction the next instruction is ajmp instruction ajmp stands for absolute jump and its syntax is ajmp address 11 that means it requires 11 bit address it transfers program control unconditionally to the indicated address defined within 2 kilobytes of program memory from current pc the address is 11 bit i hope you all understand the three type of jump ljmp ajmp and sjmp in ljmp here let's see in ljmp we require 16 bit address and its range is within 64 kilo byte in sjmp means in short jump 
it requires relative address and its range is minus 128 to plus 127 and the third is ajmp means absolute jump it requires 11 bit address and its range is 2 kilobytes i hope you all understand the basic difference between these three types of jump the next instruction is jmp that means jump at the rate a plus dptr that means this is the index addressing mode is used here here index is formed by addition of accumulator with the dptr register it is an un unconditional jump to the destination address which is provided by sum of register a and dptr register the next instruction is call instruction the call instruction is used to provide or to locate at the subroutine or to transfer the control towards the subroutine its syntax is call address function is transfer control to the subroutine it is used to call a subroutine the 8051 has two call instructions l call that means long call and a call means absolute call let's see first l call its syntax is l call address 16 that means it requires 16 bit address it is used to call a subroutine located anywhere within 64 kilobytes of program mem program memory that means whenever the long word is used that means it requires 16 bit address and its range is 64 kilobytes for example the instruction l call 8051 8050h it calls the subroutine located at the memory location 8050h okay the next instruction is a call means absolute call absolute call requires address of 11 bit it calls a subroutine located within the 2 kilobytes of program memory from current pc that means whenever the absolute word is used then it means that it requires 11 bit address and its range is within 2 kilobytes i hope you all understand the next instruction is ret ret stands for return instruction whenever we call a subroutine then we have to return back to our main program hence in that case we use the return instruction its function is return from subroutine it is used to return from a subroutine previously entered by l call or a call the content of the pc saved in the stack are popped into pc and stack pointer is decremented by 2 the next instruction is reti means return from interrupt subroutine its syntax is reti it is used at the end of interrupt service subroutine that means at the end of isr that is whenever in program execution if the interrupt is occur then after completion of the interrupt the reti instruction is used the content of the pc are popped from the stack and stack pointer is decremented by 2 now let's see the next type of instruction conditional branch instruction in these instructions if the specific condition is true or satisfied then the operation is performed on pc to branch new memory area otherwise normal program execution condition continues that means in conditional branch instructions there is a condition when whenever this condition is satisfied then the operation is performed on the pc and if the condition is not satisfied then the normal program execution continues there are different types of conditional instructions let see some of them the first is jump instruction its syntax is jz real real means relative address okay that means its range is within minus 128 
to 127 i hope you all remember the things its function is jump if accumulator is zero if the accumulator is zero then branch to indicated address otherwise proceed with next instruction the jump range is relative that is it is within minus 128 to 127 bytes away from the pc the jump jump range is relative okay its operation is if accumulator is equal to 0 then jump to this relative address i hope you all understand the things okay if accumulator is not equal to 0 then continue the process or the continue the execution of the program there is no need to jump in that case the next instruction is j and z that means jump if accumulator is not zero okay if accumulator is not zero then jump to the relative address if the accumulator is not zero then branch to indicated address otherwise proceed with next instruction that means if accumulator is not equal to zero then and then jump to this address if accumulator has some value then there is no need to go this address the sequence of our program is continuous the next instruction is dj nz dj nz means decrement and jump if accumulator or a register or a memory location is not zero its syntax is djnz byte comma relative its function is decrement memory location or register and jump if not zero that means this byte is given here and if this byte is not zero then jump to this address if this byte has the byte is having value zero then there is no need to jump at this address i hope you all understand it decrements bytes of specific memory location or register by one and branches to the relative address if the resulting value is not zero for example dj nz rn comma relative rn stands for the stack registers r0 to r7 its function is decrement register rn and jump to relative address if not zero okay its operation is after execution of this instruction here this register rn is decremented by one and if rn is not equal to zero then jump to this relative address okay i hope you all understand the syntax and the instruction the next addressing mode is direct addressing mode djnz direct comma relative here the memory location is given in this instruction what happens the direct memory location has some data this data is decremented by 1 and if this data is not equal to 0 then jump to this relative address otherwise the normal operation is proceed the next instruction is cjne cjne stands for compare and jump if not equal okay here the syntax shows that cjne destination byte source byte and relative address it affects the carry flag okay it compares the magnitude of source byte and the destination byte if they are not equal then jump to the relative address otherwise next instruction is executed if destination less than source then carry is equal to 1 if destination greater than source then carry equal to 0 okay the instruction syntax or the addressing modes are given here the first instruction is cjne a comma direct comma relative that means there is a comparison between source and destination 
here source is direct memory address and destination is accumulator it compares the magnitude of the accumulator with the memory location content and branches if value is not equal that means if the value of a and this direct memory address location is not equal then and then jump to this relative address okay for example cjne a comma 40h that means accumulator has some data the memory location 40h has some data if these both data are equal in nature then then and then jump to this relative address or jump to this next instruction i hope you all understand similarly the next instruction is cjne a comma immediate data relative its function is it compares the magnitude of the accumulator with the immediate data and branches if value is not equal that means the accumulator and this immediate data is compared with each other if they are not equal then jump to the relative address for example cjne a comma 40h that means if the accumulator has the value 40h then there is no need to jump but if the accumulator has the value other than 40h that means they are not equal then and then jump to the next instruction the next addressing mode is or the next instruction is cjne rn comma immediate data relative it compares the magnitude of the register rn with immediate data and branches if the value is not equal that means this rn is compared with this data if the value is not equal then and then jump to this relative address that means for example cjne r6 comma 40h comma next that means if the r6 has the other value or the different value than 40h then then and then the r6 is not equal to this data hence jump to this next instruction the next instruction is cjne at the rate ri immediate data comma real at the rate ri means here indirect addressing mode is used and ri or r0 or r1 is a pointer used for the memory location this memory location which is pointed by this r0 or r1 is not equal to this immediate data then jump to the relative address its function is it compares the content of the memory location pointed by ri with immediate data and branches if value is not equal that means if this value is not equal then jump to this relative address i hope you all understand the all the instructions in the program branch group instruction thank you